explain what I can later. I'm sure I'll be in the bathroom if I'm needed. I hate that. Eugene's a good friend. He is, but he's a good friend who doesn't have any security clearance. I get it. Why does he need security clearance to talk about my dad? You're not about to tell me that the agency's involved with this somehow. Now, don't take this wrong, Jason, but there isn't a lot I can tell you either. What? Well, technically, you don't have security clearance anymore. <laughs> You're joking. Well, you know me better than that. When an operation is in full swing... Operation? We... What operation? I can't tell you. Well, I, I may as well just go into the bathroom with Eugene, then. What can you tell me? <laughs> I mean, I don't believe you're here just because you missed me. I'm here to ask you to back off trying to find your father. Leave him to us. <laughs> now I know you're joking. I'm not, Jason. Please listen. There's more to this than meets the eye. How do you know that? I just know, that's all. Well, do you know where he is? Sort of. Sort of? Well, we know he's back in the Middle East and got as far as the airport in Tel Aviv. He flew back on the red eye last night. Well, you got that much from passport control. But where is he right now? That we don't know. He disappeared after he arrived. Disappeared? Like how? Well, went into hiding, or was he kidnapped so somebody could get the Q document? Well, that's what we're trying to find out, and you won't help by getting in the way. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Look, Jason, please don't take this personally. Why shouldn't I? He's my father, and you're my fiancé. And frankly, I don't know where either of you are right now. Now, don't be like that. Don't you trust me? Only about as much as you seem to trust me. You haven't told me anything at all. I can't. You know how it is. Anything I say might compromise the operation. Might compromise your operation, but not mine. I'm going to go find my father. How? Sorry. That's classified. Please, Jason, don't be obstinate. It's not you against us. Look, when it comes to the safety of my father, it's me against the world if necessary. Seriously, Tasha, drop the company line and tell me what's going on here. What, is Dad working for the agency again? Maybe. Maybe not. Meaning you're not even sure? What, you think he's turned on you? Well, he's a double agent? He took the Q document and ran? Wild guesses won't help anything. Well, they're all I have until somebody gives me the facts. There's no talking to you when you get like this. Well, then tell me what's going on. You know, you were like this at Trickle Lake. Remember? When we sat by that fallen tree and you said... Oh, there's no point in talking about it now. I have to go. This is all wrong, Tasha. I know. But there's nothing else I can do. Not even a kiss goodbye. I'm on duty. See you. I'm sure you will. Oh boy. Fallen tree. Adventures and Odyssey is a presentation to focus on the family. The Search for Wit was written and directed by Paul McCusker. Our production engineer was Mark Drury. And our executive producer is Chuck Bolte. And I'm Chris, hoping you'll join us again next time for more Adventures in Odyssey.